Hi, my name is Aaron Clifford, and I am going to be showing you a fun little service today called Tropo. Basically, what Tropo lets you do is combine multiple streams of input, including Twitter, chat, and uh, oh, and of course, the phone, also SMS. So it allows you to combine them all and handle them all on the server side in a really, really elegant way. Today, what I'm going to teach you is something kind of neat. I had a coworker come to me the other day and he's setting up something where he wants to get a little bit more love from Toronto. And he's actively out in Toronto and trying to get more clients there. And so he wanted to have a local Toronto number that just forwarded to his cell phone. And I thought, yeah, I can make that happen. And then I thought, why don't I make it happen for all of you? So here we are. Basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to set up a company line using a service called boop, Tropo. Now it's going to be pretty easy. Honestly, I he asked me if it required a techie geek kind of like me to do it, but it doesn't. Um, you know, I, I should have charged him. I really should have charged him. Trevor, next time I'm going to charge you. But what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom up to full screen here. Whoa. Okay. Now you're going to want to go to the try it free and set up a whole account and go through all that rigmarole. But of course I've already set it up. One of the cool things about Tropo is that while you're getting everything set up, while you're in development, it's all completely free, free phone lines, free text messages, blah, 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 free, free, free. It's great. Um, and then honestly, once you get into it, the pricing isn't that bad. I'm just going to click over here. Um, there we go. So once you're in production, it's three cents per minute for voice, which to have someone automatically forwarded to your local phone number from a remote location is pretty nice. So I'm going to log in right now using my account. So let's say, for example, you've got people working out of their house, you've got yourself out on the move, you've got someone working in, I don't know, somewhere random in the middle of uh, Timbuktu, who knows. Uh, you're going to want to set up a central phone line. And the way you do that is you create your Tropro account and you come in to your applications, which is where we are right now, and you click on Create New Application. Tropo applications can be set up using really, really simple JavaScript. It's incredibly well documented. And uh, so that's what we're going to do is we're going to set one up using Tropo scripting. First, you give it a name. I'm going to call this one company phone line. There we go. And the next thing says what URL powers your app or use a hosted file or a sample application. We're going to use a hosted file, and all that means is that Tropo is going to keep the file on their servers. So I'm clicking on that, and you can see you can map an existing one, or you can create a new one. We're going to create a new hosted file for this application. It's going to pop something up, and we're going to give it a file name, like company line .js. And because it's a JavaScript file, that's why you're going to want to use the .js there. So in the file text, this is where you're going to do the scripting. And like I said, the scripting is really incredibly simple. They're going to phone, and this script is what happens on Tropo's side when that phone starts ringing. So it follows a basic process that you would as a person. First, you're going to wait, and I'm going to put in a 1500 here, and that just means one and a half seconds. So the phone's going to start ringing. Tropo is going to give them one and a half seconds to realize whether or not they dialed a wrong number or whatever. The next thing Tropo is going to do is answer. And that just means pick up the phone. Then I'm going to put in a nice natural delay, maybe another 1500 milliseconds, which is one and a half seconds. So wait 1500. And then we're going to say, results equals ask. Now, all this does is it's going to ask them a question and expect a response from them. And we're going to assign that response to results. So what we want to ask is, and we're not really going to ask so much as say right off the bottom, we're going to say, 
Hello, because it's always polite to say hello. Thank you for calling Ego Ant Productions to reach Aaron. That's me. Press one to reach the janitor. Press two. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a little curly braces there. And we're going to use these curly braces to put in something that says choices. All this does is it sets up what Tropo expects as a response. And in this case, their only choice is a one digit number. So we're going to type in one digit there. Then we're going to close off the ask. And once we've asked that question, we can use this results to see what they put in. So I'm going to say if the results value is equal to, and notice I'm using two equals if you're not that familiar with JavaScript, if the results value is one, then we're going to say, and all that does is read something out to the person over the phone in a typical robot voice. Please wait while your call is transferred to Aaron. Oops. And then we're actually going to transfer the call, which is quite simply named transfer. And then in here you just put the plus and one, or I mean if you're somewhere else, if you're in Europe, whatever the international calling uh, code there is. And then we're going to use a Hollywood number, 555-555-5555. So that will transfer it to me. Now we're going to put else if the results value is 2, then we're going to transfer it to the janitor. And I'm just going to copy all of this in here and put it down here and change it to the janitor. Now in this case, of course, I don't have a janitor. I am the janitor. I'm just going to leave the phone number the same. And that's it. That's all it takes. If you had more than a couple of users there, you'd set them up uh, using uh, more of these else if statements. If you had three or four or a hundred, you could transfer it to any number of people. And by default, if they know the person's extension, it allows them to break through this text up here. Another really cool thing about Tropo is that you don't have to use the robot voice. If you actually want to take the time and record the audio yourself, you can. And then you just, instead of saying ask and putting in that text, you'd put in ask and a file name, a path to a file name. So if it was ask for transfer.mp3, for example, or WAV file or whatever. So yeah. But I'm going to keep that text in there. Then all you have to do is go down here and create file. And now we're back where we were. We've created the company phone line application using company line.javascript. We say create application. All right, so you'll see here it says created. It may take one to two minutes for your changes to propagate through our network. And down below here, you've got a whole bunch of text, just a massive block. That includes your Skype voice numbers, SIP, INUM, and it allows you to click this here to add a new phone number. And you can see here, it's free to add US and Canada local numbers. So you can select an area code, Let's say I wanted a phone number in ooh, Montreal. I like Montreal. 
Oh, although I can't seem to scroll to Montreal. There it is, so 438. Then you hit the plus button next to it here. And you can see here, I've been given a phone number, 438-800-2385. It'll take a couple minutes for that to activate. So what I'm gonna do, normally what you'd do is you'd hit update application and all that would go through. I'm gonna close off this application and you can see I've created the same application down here. I created this one earlier and I set up the phone number so that I could use my cell phone to show you what it sounds like. And I'm just dialing now and I'll put it on speaker. And I'm going to press 1. Thank you. Please wait while your call is transferred to Aaron. And of course, because I put in a useless phone number that doesn't exist, it just disconnected me. Normally what you'd do is you'd probably want to put in some sort of error handling for that, but I'm not going to cover over that in this tutorial. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments, uh, either on Ustream or on YouTube. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that this was useful information to you. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you more of these in the future. Also, if you have anything that you want to figure out on the web, if you're having a tough time with it, I would love to try and answer it for you. I love figuring and tinkering and uh, posting videos. So yeah, have a great day.